2024 NFL Draft is less than three weeks away, and it's a time that provides opportunities for teams to fill holes on their roster and improve for the season that is ahead. For the Buffalo Bills, they have a real need at the wide receiver position after the departure of two of their former top targets in Stephon Diggs and Gabe Davis. When you have a franchise quarterback such as Josh Allen, you need to make the most of his prime years, and for Buffalo to do so, they need to find a new top target. This year's draft class is one that is loaded with wide receiver talent, providing the Bills ample opportunity to fill those voids. There are plenty of fish in the sea of this year's receiver draft class, but the one I'll highlight in this video is Brian Thomas Jr. coming out of LSU. This handsome fellow, the guy in the cereal box, not me, this handsome fellow, he needs someone to throw to, he needs a new top target, and in this video, we're going to talk about a really interesting option for him in Brian Thomas Jr. Before we do that, I'd like to take a moment to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. I'm currently closing in on 4,000 subscribers. It's been a long journey to get here, and I'm really excited to hit this milestone. I'm hoping to do so before the NFL Draft. If you haven't yet, click subscribe and help me reach that goal. So as I just mentioned, the receiver this video will be about is Brian Thomas Jr., who's projected to be drafted in the middle of the first round after hauling in 68 receptions for close to 1,200 yards with 17 touchdowns, which was the most in all of college football coming out of the loaded SEC division. That's quite impressive. BTJ is considered by most to be a second-tier receiver in this year's draft class, but realistically, he'd be a first-tier guy in almost any other year. It's just a testament to how loaded this draft class is with wide receiver talent. Obviously, the top three wide receiver options in this year's draft class are Marvin Harrison Jr., Roma Dunze, and Malik Neighbors. All three of these guys, they're projected to be studs at the NFL level, and they're projected to be top 10 picks off the board, and obviously, Bills Mafia would love one of them. It's going to take an arm and a leg to trade for one of them, so I'm not certain that Brandon Beam wants to make that trade, but hey, if he does it, Bills Mafia, they're going to celebrate like crazy. I'm all for it, but we're, uh, this video, I'm just thinking a little more realistic within the realm of possibilities. In order to snag Brian Thomas Jr., the Bills are probably going to need to trade up to a mid-round pick from their current 28th overall selection, and that's definitely a possibility, and it's probably worth it too. BTJ offers some rare athleticism, standing in at 6 foot 4, 209 pounds, with a 4.33 40 yard dash time. He's primarily a deep threat receiver, which would be an awesome asset for the Bills offense without Gabe Davis and with a gunslinger like Josh Allen under center. If you think about the current Bills offense, no digs, no Gabe Davis, you have guys like Curtis Samuel, Khalil Shakir, Dalton Kincaid, and then James Cook operating out of the backfield. There's no one that can really stretch the field vertically and allow other stuff to develop on the inside. So obviously a guy like Brian Thomas Jr. who he's known as a deep threat wide receiver. That would be an awesome asset and an awesome addition to the Bills offense. That's why I see this being a perfect fit for the Bills. There's a lot of pros that come with BTJ. But there is also some cons with the biggest potential issue being his short running ability. If you watch him on film, there's evidence that he struggles on curls and comeback routes. But at just 21 years old, this is a guy who has a lot of potential and room for growth. Another con is the fact that he was the second option in the offense with Malik Neighbors being the top alpha receiver. Will he be able to be a top dog in an NFL offense? A lot of people are asking that question. I think he will be able to but still, the question remains. Having the ability to stretch the field vertically with his speed at his size of six foot four, it's a rare combination, and it's definitely something that comes with a lot of upsides, and it makes him hard to ignore. On top of all this, Brian Thomas Jr., he's been linked to the Bills for quite some time, and I mean, here's what Malik Neighbors, his former teammate from LSU, had to say. I don't know. I think, I think he's going to be a Buffalo Bill, y'all. So Malik Neighbors predicted that BTJ is going to go to the Buffalo Bills, but there's even more substance to this. Just check out what was said on Instagram Live with Jaden Daniels and Brian Thomas Jr. himself. Where, where are you at tomorrow, BT? I'm going, I'm, I'm going to kick it with you, bro. New York. 
The Jets are the Giants. Nah, I went to. I did the Jets already. The Jets facility nice. Yeah. Yeah, that bitch. That bitch smooth. That bitch nice as hell. No, I do not. Uh, I mean, other like, like other side of New York though, bro. <laughs> <laughs> a boy by Canada. So obviously the other New York team that Brian Thomas Jr. is referring to in that Instagram live video is the Buffalo Bills. I mean, a lot of things here talking about Brian Thomas of the Bills. It's pretty intriguing. Um, one New York team. All this leads me to believe that the Buffalo Bills are interested in Brian Thomas Jr. And if they are indeed interested in him, they're going to need to move up to get him. It's still a possibility. BTJ is coming from LSU, which is where the Bills offensive coordinator, Joe Brady, was the passing game coordinator and wide receivers coach in 2019. And even though that was before Thomas arrived in the program, it could still be a very key connection to have. And the reason I say that, even though Joe Brady wasn't there when Brian Thomas Jr. was there, let's be real. Joe Brady has some connections inside that LSU program. He's able to get the inside scoop on Brian Thomas Jr. a little better than some of these other coaches and scouts around the NFL might be able to. So that's a that's an important connection to have, and it's something that I think is worth considering. On top of that, LSU is known for being a wide receiver factory. They have two top receivers that are projected in the first round of this year's draft in Malik Neighbors and Brian Thomas Jr. himself. And the school's produced household names at the position such as Odell Beckham Jr., Justin Jefferson, and Jamar Chase. Perhaps Ryan Thomas Jr. is just going to be another great player to come from the school. So all things considered, when you look at the draft position, obviously the Bills, they're going to probably have to trade up to get Brian Thomas Jr., but it's not going to be anything too significant. Moving up from 28 all the way into the top 10 is a lot tougher of a task than from 28 somewhere into the mid-teens to get your guy in Brian Thomas Jr. LSU connection with Joe Brady, although they weren't there together, it's something worth considering. The Instagram lives that we've been seeing from Jaden Daniels, Brian Thomas Jr., and Malik Neighbors, and then the need for the wide receiver, the Buffalo Bills, they were expected to get a wide receiver before Diggs was traded, but now it's, it's pretty much a certainty that they get a guy at the wide receiver position. Even if they do make a move at the position before the draft, they're still going to need someone to fill some voids here because what they have right now, it's not enough. Brian Thomas Jr. has a unique skill set. He's able to stretch the field, and he's honestly one of my favorite wide receiver prospects in this year's draft class. Obviously, the top three guys, Odunze, uh, Neighbors, and Harrison Jr., those are the top three for everybody. But Brian Thomas Jr., he's on that next level down he's the second tier but as i said usually he would be a top tier guy in pretty much any other draft class it's just how how many great prospects we have in this year's draft class it's it moves them down the chart a little bit but having him it would be a great addition for the bills one of my favorite prospects in this entire draft I think there's so much upside to getting at Brian Thomas Jr. And he would be able to help out the Bills offense in a big time way. But I'm curious to know, what do you think about Brian Thomas Jr.? And do you want to see him on the Buffalo Bills? Do you want to see the Bills move up to get him? Or do you? is there someone else that you want? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching this video. And as I mentioned, closing on now, 4,000 subscribers. Really excited to hit that milestone. I hope you join me on this journey. Hope you click subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Click that like button. Stay tuned for more content coming your way. I'm Jake Varco. This is the Bills Bunker. Go Bills.